Hey there, YouTube. So today this is just gonna be a kind of a boring video. Uh, bench some mess, absolutely mess. Absolutely mess. Um, but uh, this is my Google and Pro 255. Uh, had the muffler off, the piston on it looks perfect. Um, looks like it really, I mean, it's dirty, but it really looks like it hasn't had many hours on it. But uh, either way, I noticed that there's no fuel filter on it. Pull that off. Fish that fuel filter out of there, or the fuel line. Oh, there's actually. Oh, yeah, so maybe yeah, that's why it won't run. That's usually not the way that works. But the fuel filter looks good at least, so that gives me a good idea on why this wouldn't run on its own fuel. Uh, yeah. But either way, uh, I'm going to stick with the original plan. I'm taking the carb off this just to look inside of it. If anything, in plastic, I'll figure out how that fuel line fishes down in there. Uh, I'm a big fan of this. Where these bolts are screws. No, I guess that's not too bad. Of course, I'm very long. Hoping I don't have to take off this, the handle for this, because that would that would kind of suck. I might even have some right size fuel line for this thing, maybe. It's a pain in the ass. I do not like where this one bolt is. with me while I struggle here. Struggle is real some days. It is a Monday. Yeah. I'm half tempted to just drill a hole through this. I can just... I'm doing a lot because I'm totally thinking about doing that. This, this is saw I might keep, so... You know what? Let's make life easy. So all of these saws have a ton of value, so... Oh, let's see if that helps. There, that's my Poolin Pro 255 trick to get that one bolt out. That's so much better. So much better. Perfect, but I'll, you know, I'll take it. I'm calling this a win. So I shouldn't lean on the anti glide. Okay. Okay, so. What if I discovered I do not like working on the saw? I'm actually a little surprised that this runs off. It doesn't have a separate impulse line. Okay, back that off. Yeah, I don't know if I like that the setup. Maybe I should have done it. Like her. Okay, there we go. Okay. That's the wall. It's an actual wall, bro. I was expecting like a Zama or some shit. Or something no name. That should be reusable. That fuel filter is. Where does that fuel light even go? Oh, God 
don't know how I feel about the cable system on here. Okay, just find out where that fuel line's supposed to. There we go. Tiny little hole, eh? Just tiny. Okay. Okay. Got that sorted out. Let's see what's what inside this guy. The screen's perfectly clean. I'm pretty sure the only issue with this thing was that it's not great. It's not great. It's not bad either. Oh, it's actually stiff. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. I don't know if you have a new pump diaphragm or my miscellaneous crap. I'm going to pause you guys, see if I can find something for this. So luckily I had a uh, carburetor from a Zenoa clone that has all the right parts in it, so I think we are in business. All the pieces look the same, they look as they should. And this carb actually doesn't look like it's in very bad shape at all. So I think it's be very, very minimal to get this guy running. Switch out the metering diaphragm after this. Now, despite the um, outside of the carpet having some gunk on it, the inside is actually quite, quite clean. That's, that's promising. Yeah, I just think this thing's going to run, like, very, very easily. Looks the same as the same. You know, the fuel line's going to be the issue on here, because I used to have some really small stuff like that, but I'm, like, throwing it out, because I didn't think I'd ever use it. But I'm hoping I didn't. If not, I'll have to pause this, and tomorrow at work I'll stop. There's a power equipment center in Edmonton. It's, like, right by my shop, so go in there if I need a chunk of Tigon or something, because they always have everything in stock, and they have no problem selling it. People online said sometimes their local shop won't sell them fuel line and stuff. Well, it's not a very good shop. They don't want to help people out. Because, I mean, they won't even work on shit like this, and rightfully so. I mean, is it worth fixing? Yeah, for a guy like me, I think it is. But really, it's it's not really a high-value saw. But on a Monday night, nothing better to do. Why not?
So it's going to be interesting. I'm going to shift that together here. Um, but i got to figure out fuel line for a second. I'll look for fuel line. Pause you guys again. Oh, bingo bongo. Brand new fuel line. It's the same size. Yeah, once again, it's the same size. Shove down the hole first. on the fence if I'm gonna light this saw or not. It's coffee where the fuel goes in. Need some pliers. live on it because most of my saws are vintage home lights and stuff like that one thing I'm missing I got the Zenoa clone but um, I don't have sometimes the big heavy home lights I don't like carrying through the bush to uh, fell trees so I'm hoping this one will turn out to be good use this one for felling and bigger saws bigger heavier saws for bucking it's a real motherfucker. Look at that. Ooh, tipping shit over. Refreshments. Hopefully that's where the fuel line actually goes in and it's not shoving into some random hole. Do not give you a lot of room here. I mean, it's good. It's tight on the tubing, but man, this kind of sucks. And hopefully that's where the fuel line actually goes through. Because if that's not where it goes through, it'll be pretty flipping silly. Okay, you can feel it. It has penetrated the hole. Okay, I'm going to pause you guys because this is probably going to take me like way too long. So, I'm not new to changing fuel lines, but this seemed way more painful than it should have been. Like, I had to put the fuel line through this. I mean, it's the only fuel line I had through this tiny little hole through the tank. And this fuel line is the same size as the stuff I pulled out of there. But, uh, just, it's such a tight fit, which is good so gas doesn't like through. But what a pain in the ass to pull that through. I like killed like four inches of... Or a few inches of a good fuel line just trying to use a precision screwdriver just to plop, push it down in there. Maybe there's an easier way. Uh, this stuff's too light to use the wire method, so if someone mentions that, that's why I didn't do that. Uh, but anyways. Back on with the show. See if I can get all this stuff back together now. <laughs> what did you do on your Monday night? I swore in a chainsaw. Okay, so that goes on there like that. That goes on there like that. And the choke goes on there like that. Worry about that. Let's try and get these screws back in. There's one. That was the easy one. This one did come out, so. If I ever take this part again, I'm taking the throttle handle off. I think that would make life a lot easier. This gas is still in nice shape too. 
it's always a bonus. When I drop it, or I don't want it, it should line up with me here. Surprised it's actually a Wolver carburetor in here. I guess this saw uh, was before Poo and went to complete shit, but that's debatable. This seems like a lot like Husqvarna 41. Or sorry, 40 actually. More like a 40. Okay, I'll put that fuel line on there first. Because why wouldn't I? I brought a swear jar down here because I've sworn a lot. So just one of those things. And I'm getting to the age where I have to accept that I might need glasses for a scene close up. Maybe. Fuck. It's a little hard to do. Yesterday I was cutting kindling. Uh, me and the wife put around a little fire. You know, I, I've been no stranger to using axes and stuff, but I was using a little hatchet and slipped. Axe grazed right along there, and good thing it wasn't more in the middle. Could have taken the thumb off, but yeah. But that's been kind of tender today, so that's making life even more fun. Let's go a little further down for my liking. Okay, so Katoa, get those guys started in there. Throttle is on, gasket is on. Get those half ass lined up. Get the choke lever on. Maybe, maybe. Oh, son of a mother. Okay. Now, hopefully, everything's lined up. Here's my trusty, trusty hole. Fuck. Fuck, that stings. Nope, oh, she's going in the hole. Hopefully the gasket's where it's supposed to be. Throttle's hooked up. There's gonna be a pool and lever out there that's gonna criticize me for the hole I drilled to make this a little easier, but you know what? Fuck it. It's I'm not a pool and lover. Uh I'm hoping this will be a good little saw, but don't get me wrong, but it's not gonna be a saw that I'm like too sad if something bad happens to it. Snug. That little snug. Make sure that's recording. If it is, that's good. Okay. Okay, that should be, uh, make sure it's a little, little more snug. Doink. Doink. I already did a muffler model this at work when I had it there. Um, okay, pull this guy through. Let the fool in. It's still light out. I like this time of year, it's light out till like 8.30 now. Give it two more months, it'll be light till 10.30. It's one good thing about living in the north, hot long days in the summer. Cold, short, dark days in the winter. Okay. Let's 
sure if that should leave. Mm -hmm. We probably don't need too much of this. This filter that came off, it looks perfectly adequate. So she pulled a little bit of fuel on there. Just a little bit of fuel line left there. Bongo. That's on. So I see no reason why this shouldn't start and run. I should see where the jets are. Where are you always leaving? Fuck it. That's one thing I did do though. I probably can't get that on now, can I? I probably can actually. Line we have there. It's really not necessary, probably, but it is what it is. Okay, well, uh, I can put the top cover back on because I'm pretty sure it's going to run the way it is. I'm going to have to play with the jets, but. You know what? Let me take this outside. Give it a test. One second, I'm going to put it back together because I don't want to bring it back in the house after I put gas in it. Uh, it's getting warmer out now, so my wife doesn't like that. Hope the jets are relatively where they should be. Should be a pleasant surprise. Scrinch. It's getting to that time of year too where it's bad because I'm doing stuff outside, so I leave tools out there in the shed. Come back in the house, forget about them. Okay, I'm gonna pause it. I'll see you guys outside because I'm gonna get this running. Okay, so I put fuel in it. Um, I didn't prime it or anything, so I just keep yanking on it. It's, hopefully, it'll start. Hopefully. something sticky in the throttle so I'll have to deal with that um yeah but I mean it runs runs good okay talk to everybody later bye